And please, God, look after Auntie Floss and the budgie. Oh, and please, make me 17 again with the keys to one of these in my pocket. It's the Clio Sport 172 2 litre 16 valve and it's very much the kind of thing that leaves teenage boys with some embarrassing explaining to do when it comes to sheet washing time. The 172 in the title refers to the brake horsepower, all 172 of them, which means in hot hatch terms, this thing is at furnace temperature. There is in fact only one hot -a hot hatch, and as that's the Renault Sport Clio V6, I don't think they're too worried. It's not just the exterior that's been funked up, the interior's been given the treatment too. It looks great, very sporty, but with some luxury touches, as well as the chrome bits, we've got lots of Alcantara, that's pretend suede, and blue leather on the wheel and places like that. In fact, you get more or less the same interior in the V6, but whereas after the unbelievable comic book exterior of that car, it's a bit of a disappointing anticlimax, here in the slightly more subdued version, it's fantastic. Wouldn't it have been wonderful though to have struck up an intimate relationship with one of these in your teenage years? Looks like this, along with so many of today's little pleasures, will have to be reserved for the wedged up 30-somethings who haven't yet started out on their own path towards creating the next generation of hot hatch hooligan teenagers. Time for a quick flip through the spec cards then as we sit in the frog and wicket consuming an underage pint of watery lager shandy. We've got 172 bhp, nice. 0 to 60, 7 seconds mate. Top speed, 138 miles an hour. Ooh, yeah. Variable valve engine and all mate, whatever that is. Get the crisps in, eh? If there's just one thing Renault Sport really can do, it's sort the suspension on a sporty little car. It feels, for my money, perfect. Just crashing and jarry enough so you're in something that really is about driving fast and hard, but not so much that all your teeth fall out. That engine is beating out more than enough power. If anything, there's too much grip. There are times when I'd like it to perhaps break away and give me a little bit more feel about what it's doing. The steering, nice and direct. Even the driving position, though the same as an ordinary Clio. Perhaps something to do with the more padded seat in this little leathery steering wheel feels just right. I actually feel almost as if I'm in a rally car suited for tarmac use. Very, very hot. claim to be, with only one exception, the ultimate hot hatch. And that's the weird thing, it just seems strange to introduce the hottest of hot hatches and then upstage it yourself. But I suppose whereas the V6 with barely enough space on board for a credit card is hardly practical, the 172, well, pretty much is. And at about 15,995 quid, it's about 10 grand cheaper than the V6. It still is a shame though about all those poor 17 year olds unable to insure such a car. I guess I'm far better off after all, being 21. What? Yeah, all right, 24, 20, 25-ish.